percent end of day pick here uh, today I've taken a look at a few but I like Baba I like what I see here uh, and I think it has potential to uh, make a continued move lower uh, definitely potentially back to this 170 area probably we're gonna touch is this 50 period MA and on a longer term uh, possibly back down to this level down here obviously that's gonna need a couple more months uh, to do so uh, but this is the weekly. I like the way it's setting up on the weekly. As you can see here, uh, last week it set up this beautiful hammer. And this week it's setting up, uh, what do you want to call this? Inverse hammer, shooting star, whatever you want to call this. But uh, obviously it's setting up a pattern, hitting here with the resistance. Uh, so it may uh, look to be setting up a significant move lower to this 50 MA at, uh, as target number one. Let me see if I can draw that over here. So from here to here, uh, what is that? Seven to eight uh, percent hitting uh, the 170, and then on a longer term basis, and that is if the market actually starts to come down uh, in uh, unison, uh, we may actually see Baba come back down to these levels down here on a longer term basis. But obviously, that is a way way longer target there. Uh, on the daily, let's take a look here. My computer's been acting real slow today. I have to close some of these programs. I have way too much stuff running here, but let's see what uh, Bob has been setting up today. As you can see here on the 30 minute, uh, it's been pretty much gap, uh, coming lower, then it, it levels off. Uh, so today it pretty much went lower, uh, back to this little support area here again, and then it went higher. So he's definitely having some issues breaking down below 184, but I feel like once it does break down 184, it definitely will uh, continue lower. So this is the time that if you are going to take this, this is probably the best time to do so. I'm probably going to be looking to taking this at the end of the day today. I'm just going to wait uh, for a better entry. Uh, I missed it earlier um, as I was having uh, doing on calls and had to step away. But this would have been a great entry here. Obviously, one of these two candles would have been the perfect entry for me because uh, then obviously getting it at a higher point. I was watching it since this point earlier this morning and I was waiting for this pullback higher. But I missed my entry, which it was here. So at this point, I'm just going to wait till the end of the day and see where it ends up. Uh, and my target is to go uh, to the downside. So I'm looking to get puts because it is making lower highs and lower lows. So from here, from today, I'm looking for it to on the daily targets. We're looking for, obviously, at least 176, 174 area. And like I said, on the weekly targets, we're looking back down to 170. And on a longer term basis, obviously, we want to do something further out. So when it comes to the further out one, that's when I'd probably be putting in some uh, spreads in uh, to give myself the uh, gift of time. And with the gift of time, obviously, what I'm putting on my side is theta, uh, time decay uh, on those spreads. And that's why I would do it as a spread. Uh, and I've shown this before. Not everybody is a fan uh, because a lot of people like to tell you to do out of the money stuff. But I personally uh, would look to collect as much premium as I can uh, on some in the money put spreads here uh, because I am expecting it I mean I'm sorry in the money call spreads because I am expecting it to move lower uh, uh, over time so then I would go you know maybe a month or two out uh, and do some in the money put spreads here right and let that thing um, I mean call spreads and let this thing come out of the money and giving me the gift of time so the closer the closer we get to uh, the expiration of these contracts, obviously, uh, the better it is going to be for me and my position because they will come out of the money uh, and I will be paid handsomely for that. So, again, let's go ahead and uh, do a final recap here. Uh, obviously, you see uh, Baba has been making uh, lower highs and lower lows overall. It's having a hard time breaking down below this 184 level, but I'm going to go ahead and wait to the end of the day before I put in my order. And then I'll let you guys know how this trade plays out over time. Uh, when it hits my targets or my stop and this is a easy one because the stop obviously would be a break above a close above this level here which is the uh, resistance level that we are, are paying attention to uh, and then what I like here is obviously the divergence the negative divergence we have on the daily as you can see here it's a uh, we have negative divergence on there and actually I forgot to point it out on the weekly let's go ahead and point it out there all right, and we have negative divergence on the weekly as well. So as you can see, it peaked here over 80, 
uh, and this one over 95%. Uh, so I like that. Uh, and now we have a negative divergence where now it's making pretty much the same highs, but the RSI is not able to come back to those levels. So I definitely like what I see here, especially on the weekly. Uh, so this is a, a potential a play I'm going to be looking to take, and I will definitely give you guys a recap once I've uh, completed this trade. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. I'll see you guys on the next one.